What's up guys, it is Lightcom here, we are back with yet another Trove video and today I'm going to be running you through how in the world you can get these strong boxes on, as you can see here, in the marketplace right now. Um, sorry, just excuse me one second. And there we go. So strong boxes are stuff that you can get from outposts. They are worth pretty low right now, but basically each and every world, as you can see, starting from the permafrost world, will have an outpost of its own. So basically, as you can see here, as I enter the permafrost world, there is going to be a quest waiting on us um, right at the spawn. So as you can see right here, on this side, get a glacial shards. Now we've got that. And this is the outpost merchant in which we can get the adventuring strongbox key from. So right now, we are going to have to get a couple of radiant shards. Now, what does these quests have to do with um, getting the strongboxes? So basically, if you want to get the strongboxes, you have to complete quests like these. Outpost quests that also come around in Uber 3 Neon City as well as many other places and There we go. So that is the first quest we have completed today as an outpost Uber 1 is Desert Frontier is it? So I think Desert Frontier is the one in which asks you to clear the Shapestone ores and then, let's see, which one's after that? Oh, Fey Forest is the one that asks you to clear a couple of the, um, clear some enchanted wood, as well as some fairy dust, I believe. And Kendoria. Kendoria is going to ask you to mine formicides. I think it was about 60 Formicide ores or something like that. And it's really easy to complete quests like that. After Kandoria, I think it is Neon City. The one that is at the spawn asks you to donate. Okay, there we go. We've got a locked Adventurine Strongbox in our inventory and it looks just like a normal box. So. Do not mistake these Adventurine Strong Boxes for the normal Adventure Boxes that you get from completing dungeons. No, this is a completely different thing in which you receive by doing these outposts. So now I'm going to be heading to the Permafrost World just to make sure and just to get a key. So where can you find these keys? Essentially you can get these keys just by, let me just respawn right now okay there we go we've respawned and as you can see there is an outpost merchant so it says press e to trade with the merchants so there is this adventuring strongbox key and there are a couple of bombs i don't know why they're there i don't know what's the use of buying these bombs when you can craft them on your own and there's this adventurer's lunchbox and i i don't think this is that worth it for now but you will need this Adventurine Strongbox key. As you can see here, it is locked and we can't open it. We will have to use the key in order to have it open. So one of these keys costs 500 Adventurine and basically you can get them from getting Adventurine from your club beforehand or getting Adventurine from quests like these, get, your, get a Glacial Shards. And the one thing that I forgot to mention, if you already have completed one of these quests, of the same kind you will not be able to do them again so as you can see in the bottom right hand corner it says you have already completed this adventure today i'm going to be opening this locked adventure in strong box so what these strong boxes can drop is you either get a mount you might either get an ally you could get a non-tradable costume and you could get a tradable costume which is worth a lot trust me it's worth a lot so right here I'm going to be opening this locked adventure strong box 
and we've got the Egg Noggin ally. So this is one of the allies, I've already gotten this ally, and it's not too bad. The Adventurine Strongbox for its price right now to unlock a couple of allies and a couple of mounts. It is not that bad for its price, especially even having a chance to get um, some rare costumes and stuff like that. But anyways, I believe that this Adventurine Strongbox is really worth it. But you don't really have to buy it off the marketplace, you can just farm it daily. If you do at least 20 adventure and adventure outposts, you can get probably I'd say around 5, 5 or so, 5 to 6 probably if you're lucky. And just farm each and every time and get 500 adventuring, open up those boxes, get a chance to get one of those rare stuff. You can gain mastery from these boxes as well if you collect each and every one of these stuff. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.